It's time to eliminate dirty play from high school sports. I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I provide education, commentary, information on all sorts of sports and exercise injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. Now, Sports over the years have made a number of rules changes. They constantly make rules changes. Generally though, they're trying to prevent one team from having an unfair advantage over another team. I get that, no problem with it. But what we've seen in recent years, maybe because of more attention uh, to it from sports medicine people, yeah, maybe not, who knows, but sports have started to make rules changes to try to prevent and decrease the rate of injury. Good example would be Major League Baseball a few years ago eliminating collisions at home plate. So many catchers were breaking their legs, breaking their ankles, or having really bad concussions, so baseball got rid of home plate collisions. Had a lot of purists and say, you know, people saying, oh, that's part of the game and all that, but it has brought down the rate of serious injuries. And so we need more you know, rules changes to prevent injuries. And I think a good one to start with would be dirty play. I thought of this because I had an athlete within the last week or so in my office, 16, 17 year old female soccer player. She came to my office, she had torn her ACL, and I asked her, you know, how she got hurt. And she told me the story about how another player took her out by hitting her on the side of her knee. Now, she was reluctant to say it, she didn't really want to say that it was dirty play, you could kind of tell that was what she was thinking, and I wasn't there, I didn't see it, so I don't know that that athlete tried to hurt her, certainly I don't know that the goal was to injure her, maybe just to scare her or have a competitive advantage for that game so maybe she can't play as well, but what she did is take that player out not just from the game, but now she'll miss an entire season, and she needs surgery, she may be out for a year or more, she may never get back to play, all from basically dirty play or what sounds like dirty play. So I bring that up because I think that this would be huge in terms of preventing injuries. There was a study done not long ago uh, that looked at high school sports in the United States. I think it was like nine high school sports all across the United States uh, over a two year period. And they found that 6% of injuries in high school sports were caused by this kind of illegal activity. That may not sound like a big deal, but still, those are 6% of injuries that in theory we could completely eliminate. Now you think, oh, you know, dirty play, this has got to be football, right? Well, you'd be surprised. Not only was football not in the top three sports, but they weren't necessarily just boys sports either. The top two sports, and I don't remember the order off the top of my head, but the top two were girls basketball and girls soccer, and then boys soccer was third. So it's not just boys, girls engage in this kind of activity as well. Now, again, you say 6% injuries, that's not such a big deal, right? Okay, think about this. 10% of the injuries caused the athlete that was hurt to miss the rest of the season. Again, completely preventable. Now that athlete misses an entire season due to that dirty play. 5% of the injuries needed surgery. So these are big deals and it's something that we need to do something about. Now maybe referees and umpires can't see every play. They may miss things, I get that. And maybe they can't judge intent in real live speed, I get that as well. We do need a better job of catching these you know, so that we can call fouls, but the leagues need to suspend players doing this kind of thing, suspend coaches that encourage this kind of thing. And as parents and coaches, we need to tell our kids to knock this off and to stop. It's not just about preventing injuries in other players, it's about preventing injuries on your team, preventing yourself from getting hurt. We need to get this out of the sport for everybody's good. I get being competitive, I believe, I, I promise I get it. I understand the desire to win, but it can't be winning at all costs. It can't be about winning at another player's expense, especially the expense of injury. Okay, what do you think? Do you think I'm completely off base here? Or do you think this is something we really need to do something about? And how should we bring these injuries down? I would love to hear your experience. Below this video, share your thoughts, share your comments. I'd love to read them as a sports medicine and healthcare provider, but I bet 
not just other healthcare professionals, but parents, coaches, and athletes from all over the world would love to read what you have to say as well. If you like videos like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the box in the upper right corner of this page. You'll get videos that I record every single week on ways to stay healthy and perform your best delivered directly to you. And if you have friends that you know have kids that play high school sports, club sports, you know, youth sports, share this video with them. This is an important message and I'd love to get the word out to everybody involved with sports. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.